Perfect. Ready? I'm Nick Solaris, food writer, photographer, professional carnivore. This is Meat Life. Here we are, my favorite place on earth, Smith Willensee Steakhouse. It's been here since 1977. They serve the greatest thing I've ever eaten. Let's go inside and find out why it's so wonderful. That salad is Smith Willensee. Danny. Hey, Nick. I'm here to eat my favorite dish on earth, which is the prime rib. So tell me about the process of dry aging. It comes into this controlled environment. It's put on a shelf. The air is always moving and it stays a constant 34 to 37 degrees. So you're just above freezing. Correct. And a fairly high humidity, correct? 65, 70% humidity, correct. We age our prime rib three weeks though, Ellie. All right, so why don't we go into the butcher room, show us what you trim. Prime rib is a whole rib section roasted. A rib steak is basically this cut into steaks. And that's why the aging, I think, on this is, what, 28 to 35 days. Yeah, this one's actually 32 days. This one is only a 21 day, but by, this, by roasting it, you get the same concentration of flavor. Correct. So this is ready to go, right? Yep, ready All right, to go. well, ready let's get upstairs um, and through the magic of the internet and television, we're gonna eat one right after we put it in the oven. Okay, great. Oh, perfect timing. Here it comes. Look at that. I'm rather particular about my cut. I like it from the front because what you get is you get this glorious spinalis dorsi portion. It's got this striation of fat, right? I mean, there's nothing like it, right? Oh. I mean, that has a particular flavor. It has a texture that I think is utterly unique. This is the basis for my entire career. This is what drove me to write about food. It's what continues to inspire me. In, in a real sense, I'm always trying to find something better than this. Wow, look at that. 21 day dry aged prime rib. It's the most glorious thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> mm. Initially you get that jolt of the dry aged flavor from the rib. Then you get the actual flavor of the meat comes on. It's that rosy, roast beefy flavor. And then the fat starts to really emulsify and it coats your throat and just gives you this unctuous taste. What I love about prime rib is to me it embodies all the great things about meat cooking in one dish. As in barbecue, you have that outside edge, that bark, that crust. But then the meat itself has those long roasted flavors that you get from stews like a beef bourguignon. It also does have that salty punch of the steak. It's something that I try to best every time I sit down at the table. I haven't done it yet, but the quest continues. That's why you should stay tuned to Meat Life because I may find something better than this. No offense. <laughs>